Howdy folks, it's Italtra Earl here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and we're going to do another piano tour factory today. Well, like all of our piano tour factories, piano tour factory? Piano factory tour. Like all of our piano factory tours, it's raining, so I have to clean up the weather. But during the introduction, we'll keep the rain because this looks awesome. I just wish I could keep it and see what we want to see. But today we're going to check out Petrov pianos. Actually, first of all, before that, I lifted up my um, rudder pedals to slide them under my desk so I could fly today. And I sliced my finger on the edge of the casing of the center part of the thing and I actually need a band-aid. It was bleeding that much. It hurts a lot. But anyway, Petrov pianos today in the Czech Republic. Why Petrov? Well, I'm during my insane piano search. I'm thinking about looking at a Petrov. There's one that came into a dealer used and he's prepping it this week so I can look at it. Um, Petrov pianos, you probably haven't heard of them unless you're a pianist. Um, Petrov pianos, they have two, it's not two Petrov pianos, it's like two incarnations. So the current Petrov piano, I wish we could see more while I talk, but this looks awesome. Petrov piano currently is a very, very high-end, very, very expensive um, piano, professional grade, performance grade piano. You know, six digits we're talking for price of the longer ones as of 2009 or 2010. However, prior to 2009, 2010, they were known as an economical alternative to the higher end European pianos. Now, why does that matter? Well, because European pianos sound and feel very different from the Asian pianos, like Huang Yamaha, and very different from the American pianos, like Steinway, Mason, Hamlin, Charles Walter. So, it, European pianos is its own type. Like, when people want to compare a European piano to a Kwai or to a Steinway, you can't, because they're different, like, different types of pianos, different type of feel, different type of sound. So the Petrov prior to 2009 let people into that market say, hey, you know, you can't afford a Beckstein, can't afford a Hamburg Steinway, you know, things like that, but maybe you can afford a Petrov. So the piano I'm looking for, obviously, is from that older era. Even though they use the term economically priced, they weren't that cheap, and they're still not that cheap. Um, and I just totally lost my screen. There we go. Um, Okay, why my screen keeps going blank. This is a problem. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so they hold their value quite well because of the newer ones. Some people don't know the difference. So anyway, I'm looking at an older one, and by older in the piano world, you know, in the car world, if you looked at a used car, it's two years, five years, six years. Maybe people will buy a 10-year-old car. Maybe. But in the piano world, used pianos start around 20 years old. Not all of them, but usually you're going to look at pianos that are 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. Hopefully not that old, unless it's rebuilt. But 20, 30 years old is normal. But the prices are still high for these Petrov. So that's why we're checking out the Petrov Piano Factory, because we can. And because I'm going to be looking at a Petrov piano. I'm going into it neutral. right? Um, it could be absolutely amazing. It could be terrible. It's actually priced pretty high for its age and what it is, but it did have the upscale components for the time. Upscale everything for the time. So it started out as a pretty high-end version of what it is, so I'm giving that a pass. But I'm nervous. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Who else am I going to talk to you about this? So that's why we're flying the Petra Piano Factor today. Alrighty, let's clear up this weather, and we'll use this. There we go. So this is what we've been looking at. So where are we going? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. We're going to head due south, which is that way. Um, I chose Sunrise. Maybe due south is this way. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, there's downtown. Due south is this way. And then just after the downtown ring, we're going to follow the main highway to the south. And then there'll be a forest area. Between the highway and the forest area, we're going to look for a little tiny running track at a school. And the factory is next to that. That's my plan. <laughs> I do have a map pulled up next to me, a Google map, but we'll see. So this will be the most difficult factory to find of all the factories we've looked at. Um, 
you hear how nervous I am in my voice. So anyway, enough introduction. That's actually short introduction than I thought. But that's the introduction. Let's get this thing loaded up here. I do not have my checklist in front of me just because I don't. Uh, feels ready on both. Yes, it is. Battery master. Um, do that one. Do that one. Make sure forward, throttle forward, and start. Right? How come I have no sound? Hang on a second. I have no sound. What happened here? What did I miss? What did I miss? Is it that thing? It was that thing. Okay. It's, whoa. What? No parking brake? There we go. That was weird. Okay. It started maybe with this newest update. Some of these cold and dark things are set in a different position. I don't know. I've never needed to do that before. Alrighty, we can do this one now, and that one now, and um, turn on avionics, put that back in. Um, this map isn't going to do us any good. Will this one do us any good? No, because I don't have water set up. Um, even the city... What's that noise? That is loud. Even the highway we're looking for isn't on here. Okay, that's useless. Okay, um, we're kind of on our own, I guess. We're going to have to figure out all this on our own here. Let's turn this on, just so it says something. All right, simple enough. Um, do we have ATC? Nope. All right, so we don't know whether there's going to be. Is that the barometer? I guess they turned weather off, so it doesn't matter. We can line the HSI or compass. That's it. Super simple. Head to the south. So we want to select a runway. Select a runway for take uh, actually let's announce taxi will tell us which runway is live Lima Kilo Hotel Kilo so traffic right, turtles sense. Tango Sierra 4105 is taxiing because to runway 16 right the wind before I turned it off was like from 206 degrees so should, should remember that even though there's no wind right now or is there hang on um no no okay uh, what am I doing taxi lights and flaps down and we gotta figure out where we're going to 16 which way we're we facing so 16 is going to be kind of behind us here so 16 is going to be this runway right there probably yeah that's a long taxi but we need to do it all righty let's hop into the outside taxi view take off parking brake and get going get out dude duck duck Ooh. I'm going to turn around, and um, I might have to reset my map, because I was hoping for more detail on the VFR map. Why is the Secret Service always with us? Always. But we'll see, maybe I don't need to turn the map, adjust the map on my other monitor. Because ever since two updates ago, whenever I click out of the sim, it goes black. Until I like all tab back into it, it's very strange. So I don't want to have to deal with that, but I don't really know where we're going. So, like I said, the plan is to head to the south, find the highway ring around the city, follow the highway that goes south, and just follow that along until we see a little tiny school. Actually, there's going to be two. I'm looking at the map right now, that's why I'm not talking straight. There's going to be a running track east of the highway a few blocks away which we won't probably see from our altitude then there's another one next to the highway on the west which would be to our right that's what we're looking for and then from there we go straight to the left and we should see the petra factory it's a three-story building that's long and not that wide we'll see how this goes but anyway anything else i can say about pianos because you know this could be a piano episode or a piano video when i talk about the stuff and you see it in the title, but um, I think I said all I want to say. I'm just anxious to get rid of my piano. I've talked about it. Overall, it's an amazing piano. I've had it for four years, though, and it's just not what I thought it was going to be. Still amazing. I'm still touting the brand to everybody, but this is not for me. i played professional for a long time. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. I know what to expect from pianos, which makes my wife frustrated because she would be happy with any piano, but it kind of stinks knowing what you're talking about sometimes because now I have these not high expectations, I just have specific expectations, but anybody, right? If you're a golfer, 
you're not just going to go to Walmart and buy a golf set. You're going to really be into your golf clubs. Or if you're a race car driver, you're going to really be into your cars. So I'm just really into my piano. And I want a different one. But used piano shopping is a nightmare. It's horrible. New piano shopping, I'm stuck between a price point where I can spend more than the Chinese and Indonesian pianos but not enough to get uh, new, not enough to get new um, Japanese or European pianos. So I'm kind of stuck in the middle. So if I don't want a Chinese piano, which I don't, I won't get into that. I just will not buy a Chinese piano right now. 20 years maybe, but not right now. So I'm not gonna buy a Chinese piano. I'm not gonna buy a Samic brand piano. Um, so I'm stuck with used, right? Because I can't go to the next price point. So I'm in this gap. And I think most people are in this gap. And I think that's why the Chinese pianos do so well. But ask those people 10 years from now what they think, right? Alrighty, here we go. Let's announce our takeoff to the south. Here we go. Lima Kilo Hotel Kilo and, Traffic um, Turtle Sook Tango Sierra 4105. Taking off runway 16 right think, well, south traffic, departure. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's go. We're probably going to come back and land here since the airport is so close. We'll just have to see how I feel when the time comes. And here we go. Nice sunrise. Gorgeous. Barometer set like it doesn't matter. I'm looking at my keyboard. Off the screen, we'll do a roll onto the runway. And I, that was not the right runway, was it? Nope. <laughs> we did 15 and they said 16 right. I think it's the type of thing where it doesn't really exist. I had another airport like that, remember? Was that in Egypt? Step on the brakes. Get some speed flaps coming in. Was that Egypt where... No, it was... Um, I can't remember. It was back when I was doing daily videos, so I can't remember. But it was a runway where it's like, land on 16 right, and there wasn't. 16 right, in air quotes, was actually a um, taxiway. <laughs> So I accidentally landed on the runway, which is accidentally 16 left, but it was actually the correct way to go. All right, let's hop outside. Um, can I let go of the yoke? Ooh, what's with the turbulence? I want to do drone, but I think the airport node is going to sink on me here. What is with that? Okay, we're going to try to use the drone. Whoops, don't know how to use the drone anymore. Um, and I'm going to do a screenshot, and my screen's going to go blank. So hopefully that works. Okay, we're still alive. Yeah, so I can't do screenshots anymore. I'm going to have to take them from editing the video, which is okay. It's just not quite the same. All right, let's hop back inside because we have no control over your plane. All right, so we need to find... Okay, there's the city. We need to find the highway circle so that we can... Um, so we can find the highway going to the south. Okay, there's the edge of the city. Okay, so where's the highway circle here? This is a little more difficult to spot than I thought, getting out of town. Okay, that must be the highway circle there, right here. Is my photo stuff turned on? Has to be. Let me check. Yep, it's all turned on. All right, just making sure. Okay, so. There's the city center. There's the highway going around. That is way smaller than I expected. So then is this the road heading out of town then? Has to be. And that's the factory right there already? No, wait, no. That can't be the factory already. It sure looks like it. Hang on, let's see if we can find that school. Let me... Oops, hang on. This isn't going to work. I'm going to have to act of pause and look. There's no way that's the factory. We've been in the air for less than a minute. Yeah, it is. What? No. Let's active pause. Let's hop outside. And let's look at the ground. It is. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. So there's the one running track. There's the other running track. And this long building. Where'd you go? Right here. That's the factory and all their pipes going to like a water building. So let's hop inside and fly over there. I can't believe how fast that was. I guess we are doing 160 knots. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. This turbulence. Wow, this flight wasn't supposed to be this quick. We're supposed to have more sightseeing of Czech Republic. Oh, the city, by the way, I can't pronounce. So if I didn't put it in the title, it's in the description. Um, it's not Prague. 
they do they have a store there though but yeah so this is it right here that's the piano factory and then this is like all these pipes going out to this water building but i want to get closer so we can have a look at it and let's not crash into anything all right let's active pause with throttles forward so when we undo active pause we don't um, crash all right here we go so where to go where are we i lost my orientation there it is so there's the petra piano factory and there's the city right here the road going around it and the road coming south that was there wherever the road is oh, i'm lost that was really really fast okay um i don't know what else to say that was quick all right so let's see here um what else what else is there to talk about <laughs> here's the forest i was talking about sounds like sudden forest Okay, well, there you go. That's it. Simple enough. And then, like I said, there's all these pipes. Like, pipes going to some water thing. There's more here. See all these factory things. So, there you go. That is the Petroff. Let me take a screenshot of that. I'm just going to screw up everything. Actually, no. I'll just take this frozen frame from editing and make that my thumbnail, maybe. So, there you go. There's the city that I can't pronounce from the air. Those of you who are familiar with the area, there's mountains in the background. Wow, that was quick. Okay, well, let's fly back to the airport. Good grief. Um, let's see, undo active pause. It's going to do whatever it's going to do. Let's zoom this out a little bit here to find the airport. And we're probably going to use the same runway, so let's do 15 instead. Let's keep our altitude up. What am I doing? Keep our altitude up so we don't get too low that we can't see the airport. All right, let's tune in traffic. Nearest airport list. Um, there's the airport I can't pronounce, select the runway, let's do, let's just do 15, maybe we'll be able to see 16 right from the air, but I don't think there was one, now it's full stop, landing on position. Leave a kilo hotel, kilo traffic, turtle for Tango Sierra 4105, 3 miles, south 1,700 feet, inbound to land runway, 15 left. Uh, why can't I find the airport? There it is, right here. Alrighty, so this is going to be our downwind leg. Lima Kilo Hotel Kilo Traffic Turtle Soup Tango Sierra 4105 is on downwind runway 15 left. So when it cleared up the weather, the wind must have stayed even though the wind sock was dead. Because this is crazy right now. I'm trying to fly this? This is nuts. I also noticed my presets are backwards for, um, a few things here, so I'll fix that while we're chit chatting. How do I move down? Is it this? Nope. Nope. Let's see, where is that airport? Is it this one goes down? Nope. This one goes down. There we go. I changed all my camera presets. I can't remember our camera controls, can't remember what they are. Let's go like that. Oh my gosh. Why? I lost my screen. Can you see anything? It's black for me. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, I got it back. Why does it do that? Two updates ago it started doing that. Or it just starts going blank every once in a while. My video drivers are up to date and everything. Yeah, I only see one runway there. I don't see two. <laughs> but man, is it windier than the Dickens. Alright, we better focus on what we're doing. Speed is fast but okay. There you go. See, I synced my compass here with that one. Uh, what else we need to do? 15, so let's move this to 150. So we have an idea of the runway. There we go. Alrighty, let's announce base leg. We might be a little close for a base. But it's given a super long runway early right here. Let's start descending a little bit. Looking good though. Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That'd be a good thumbnail too. If I want to use that one, note to self. I actually like that better. Can I do a screenshot? No, it went blank again. Oh, I can't see. No, it came back. Man, this is annoying. Where's your runway? We're over there. Yeah, we're really close for a base, but that's okay. Alrighty, whoops, hop inside. And let's um give us a little bit more time to get down. And then one else final as we turn here. And then I'll slip it. Slip it in in a second because our speed is really fast. Because for some reason I'm acting like we're in a sport aircraft and we're not. 
Um, where's that running? Right below us? There it is. Alrighty. Let's, whoa, let's go like this and let's slip the daylights out of it so we come down quickly without gaining even more speed. Oh my gosh, plus there's an insane crosswind anyway. Holy cow, let's try to compensate for that crosswind. Oh my gosh, this crosswind is ridiculous. So we want right wing down. No, we want to go around. Whoa. Okay. Now it's straightened out. There we go. Still too fast. I know it's going around. See, now I don't feel across I know what's going on with the weather. I would have assumed when I went to manual weather it killed the wind. But it doesn't feel like there's no wind even though the wind sock is dead. Whatever. We're just going to go around. Mm, give yourself some space. And we know the runway orientation right there with the heading bug. Might as well use this as an opportunity to check out some more scenery. Alright, here we go. We are going to do a downwind again. Leave a kilo hotel. Jesus, Kilo's wind is blowing all over the place. Is on downwind runway one five left. And here we go. Come on. There we go. Have the heading bug down here. So we know the runway is behind us in parallel. Let's reset that compass again. Remember the previous flight where the compass went out of drift in like a minute it went like 40 degrees off it's so weird it certainly happened every 20 or so there's the runway back there we're gonna go quite a bit farther this time and give ourselves a chance oh jesus crazy what's the deal we're high talented though all right now let's do a base leg we're kind of close but we're gonna slow down this time on base runway one five left and keep an eye on your altitude 2600 feet right now you really should know your airport altitude and i don't and then check before i took off so we're going to be completely relying on visual cues here all right parallel or perpendicular to the runway let's announce final and let's come in on final Lima kilo hotel kilo traffic turtle so tango sierra for a set of flaps is on final runway one five left to land Jeez, this wind is ridiculous. But then as soon as we get by the airport, it like stopped or something. I don't understand. Very strange. Not sure how that's supposed to work when you change weather, going from live weather to manual. Oh, you see? Oof, rough. Oh, this is rough. Man, oh man. Alrighty. Bring our speed down. Air speed's bouncing all over the place. See, it's like a huge crosswind from the right, like there should be, right? The wind was 206 degrees before I changed it. So there's like this crosswind, but then as soon as we get over the airfield, it just goes away. So you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Two sets of flaps here before we get too slow. See it smooth out now? We're starting to. Well, there's a gust. See, we still have a crosswind. I'm compensating for the crosswind. But then... No, no, I still feel it this time. Oh, see, now it got smooth. See? Weird. A little bit high, but we're going to ride this out. Let's get in the center this time. There we go. Wide runway, so we're actually pretty high. A little bit of crosswind, so left rudder a little bit here. Come on. Come on. That's full left rudder. There we go. Boom. Flaps in right away. Roll it out, not using the brakes. Still have full left rudder, though. Easing up on the rudder. Huh. I've never landed right at the center before. That's new. Alrighty. Where is our way out of here? There it is. Still no brakes yet. Don't need them. You want to get out of the way. Whoa. A little bit of a gust here. Oh, and there's our bus. We need that bus. Okie dokie. Let's get ready to get off the runway here. Easing up on the left rudder. Let's see how we're veering to the right. See, the windsock is dead. Oh, there's a gust. Oh, it is gusting. Huh. Okay. Not quite sure, but whatever. Let's go down here. Let's turn the tacky lights on. Uh, let's move some of the lights. Here we go. Let's go like that. Fuel pump can come off now. And how are we doing? Good. 
All right, the only thing we missed was the timer. Lima Kilo Hotel Kilo Traffic Turtle Sook Tango Sierra 4105 is clear of the runway. And we're just going to go over to the left, I think. I guess there's some GA over there, but let's just go over here to the left where that GA looking stuff is. Yeah, let's just do that. Can we do that at this speed? Actually, let's go straight. No. That's not a taxiway, that's a road. Or is it a taxiway? Let's find out together. Oh no, the GA, that's closer. Let's use that GA. <laughs> let's just do the closest. The closest place. There's our bus anyway. Okay, let's go to our bus. Our bus is waiting for us. So we can, I guess, take the bus to the Petrov Piano Factory and have our tour. They do tours like Tuesdays and Thursdays or something. For real. Um, huge deal for them. They used to be government owned. Remember in the beginning of the video I was talking about um, pre-2009, post-2009. So the stuff now, the really expensive high-end stuff is family owned. But pre-2009 they were government owned. And then before that, there's there's lots of history there. Of course, all political history, given where it is. Same with Estonia, government owned. They were not great pianos. And then they became privately owned, became amazing highest end pianos. So European stuff is so fascinating. So fascinating. Um, here we go. Wait for us, don't leave, bus. Wanna make sure they don't leave without us. Looks like everybody else has already arrived. And they're on the bus. So here we go. We're coming. I know we're going fast. I know we are, but we don't want you to leave without us. Don't leave without us. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Oh, oops. They want us over there, whatever. <laughs> he wants us over there. We're gonna go by the bus, because I said so. There you go, set the parking brake. Let's get this thing shut down before they take off without us. There we go. Turn all this stuff off. Oops, so avionics did our, oh, maybe killing the fuel. Brought up the stop screen, but it doesn't matter because we'll still get credit for the time. It's just they add a second layer, another new layer of zero. All right, oh, no, the bus left without us. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there's other runway. It's this little grass thing right next to us. Check that out. Look at that, short little runway. Boom, 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 boom. Okie dokie. Um, well, we're gonna have to wait for the next shuttle. This guy's looking for us, too. He's like, hey, where'd they go? I tried to wave them over. Where'd they go? Oh, well. I guess we're just going to have to have lunch in the airplane until the next shuttle comes. Alrighty, Sophie enjoyed. I certainly did. Kind of vlog style, I guess. Piano vlog style. But, um, that's the way. That's what's on my mind right now. Sophie enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, play the YouTube Ugly Rhythm game with me. Although it doesn't really matter right now because I'm not doing daily content. So, hey. My cheering stopped with this newest update. Oh my gosh. Remember all that cheering I was talking about? It's gone with this update. Nice. Anyway, since I don't do daily videos anymore, the algorithm doesn't really matter. Um, so, just whatever. <laughs> I'll make a video when I get to it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll see you next time.